If one Luna is a son of 19th century Philippine painting, then Felix Resurrección Hidalgo was its moon. Rizal expressed the difference between these two. In Luna, we find the mysterious, like an echo of the dark storms of the tropics, its thunderbolts, and also its volcanoes. In Hidalgo, we find all is light, harmony, clearness, like the Philippines on moonlit nights, with their horizons that invite to meditation and suggest infinity. Yet both of them, said Rizal, although their works are so different in appearance, they are fundamentally one, just as our hearts beat in unison in spite of striking differences. There was no doubt in Rizal's mind that Luna and Hidalgo belong to the world as much as to the Philippines. In these two paintings, Juan Luna's Una Chula and Resurrección Hidalgo's The Country Women, these are tantalizing portraits of the Itanas or Gypsy women. The Gypsy woman in the 19th century was a symbol of the free-spirited, strong, alluring, and the romantic. She was in marked contrast to the chaste Victorian woman of the refined classes. She lives in the popular imagination as a provocative Carmen of Bizet's opera and the beautiful Esmeralda in The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Luna's Chula, or Pretty Young Thing, is a painted lady wrapped in a seductive scarlet. She has dark eyes and flushed cheeks, and has an expression that is pensive, perhaps repentant. Resurrección Hidalgo's The Country Women is a famous work featured in Alfredo Rosa's work of the masters. In it is a mother and daughter. They are possibly gypsies, with their possessions wrapped in a brown cloth between them. They are dressed in the colors of the earth, of copper golds and terracotta. They seem to be contemplating the freedom of the road ahead of them beneath a dusky sky.